for freedom and equality started at my teenage period when um, actually I started to be a woman. That is my, my, my mother definition that a woman should stay home, a woman shouldn't do a lot of things like boys. It was extremely Im impacted my thinking, my behavior, my dreams, and my aspiration that this gender division within my family, that actually what my mother, I think, created. That's why I want to talk about my family, challenges, and support. My family played a very big role in my life in encouraging me or discouraging me sometimes from doing things that I wanted to do. My mother would be asking me always to serve my younger brother because he is the male and I am the female. And female are born just to serve the male in their life. So that is my mother's view. But fortunately, my father has had, I have to say, um, he passed away a few years ago, had different view. He believed that women and men can actually do the same thing. But women has, have to be more careful in their lives because the reputation of the family depends heavily on women behavior, women ac uh, actions, women decisions in life. But my father also believed strongly that education and only education will make people being better, more influential. And I think I took that from my father very strongly. I grew up watching my cousins, female cousins, who didn't finish their you know, college education, who married at very young age, like 17 or 18, who, come and c who came and complained about abuses at their marriages and things. And my mother and my mother's sister would advise them to go back to that, to that marriage because they simply couldn't do anything for them. And they cannot uh, you know, finance their family. They don't work. They don't have job. So for my mother, it was I did everything wrong. I did everything differently. And I, I was the top of my class. And then in 2001, I decided to run for the elections. And my mother thought this is the maximum she could see from me. And she thought this is very serious. And also she thought maybe she can do something different or more than male can do of her brother. But unfortunately, in the middle of that campaign, my younger brother died or killed in car accident. <sighs> that actually let me stop thinking that I'm not anymore in competition with my brother. And I have to do things not to prove myself or to prove something for my mother in opposition to my brother. And that let me learn the, fir the first lesson that uh, not everything is about me or to prove that I can do things. It's about other people. And I thought maybe my mother felt something and thought she, can act she should love him more because he died at the age of 29. So I forgive my mother and I felt that kind of liberating a little bit. Car accident is a big problem in my country. I, I, I can recognize many, many families in my small town who lost children, kids at young, very young age because of this. This incident make this one of my journalist campaigns later, especially that I lost another brother, nine years older, old, also in a car accident. And that let me learn that life is very short. So I have to plan things and I have to do a lot of things because I don't know how long I would live and how long I can impact people's life. So that made me actually concentrate more in my, you know, activism work, which started when I was only 14 years old. I was teaching the girls Arabic literature and some Islamic education. And that people, you know, recognize that I can do things. When the first election I, s I decided to run, actually people called me and they wanted me to represent them. It was very difficult to tell my husband that decision, but I thought my marriage, it was another reality. It was very difficult, power in, in the man, uh, hand, and I have to get approval of everything from my husband that according to the law, according to the social norms and everything. But actually my husband was very, very supportive. Although I didn't win that elections, but there were the, the major event in my life who made me feel I am very close or I was very close to the people that impacted then my professional life as a journalist. I decided since then I will report only things that related to people, to their rights, and to public liberties. 
a lot of people have, you know, problem in measuring um, impacts uh, of their activism, if the, of their professional, you know, career, especially the ones that affect people, like journalism I do. Well, I was lucky enough <laughs> that I have some measurement before I die, that I have two generations of my kids. I have a daughter who is 19, another who is 17, and then two other, a boy who is 10 and a girl who is 7. And I can measure what I do, how impacted their life. My daughters, the way they talk, the, their personality, they never suffer from the things I suffer. They don't feel they are different from boys and they, and they think they can do whatever they can. I think men can be feminists too because this little man, he is the only son I have, but he is the one who would ask me the very difficult questions about women and why women have to behave this way under Islam, under culture. He will think absolutely that women are actually equal to men. I would like to end with this story. I was going with him to buy something, shared something for the family, like a dinner. And he asked me to buy him something different, only for him. And I said, what makes you think that you are different or unique, so I have to buy you something and that I don't buy for your sisters? He said, I, I am different, I am special referring to the idea that he's a boy, but he didn't say it. And I said, yes, you are special, you are different, but you are equal. And then my son didn't argue, he just accepted the idea, and he actually, what I felt that he knew that he is equal to his sisters and he doesn't have anything more unless he did something that would qualify him to get these things. So the thing I, I learned is whatever we do in our public life, it actually impact our you know, our social life, our personal life, our, you know, family life, and you can see the impact directly in your family. And I'm really happy for that I could see this impact on my kids and on other people. My family now, even my mother, would send me lots of uh, pictures and screenshots that her neighbors would send to her uh, from TV that I was reporting certain issue. And they are very proud that I am from their town. And my mother, at this stage, she's very proud, and I feel good that I could impact people, but also I could change beliefs inside my family.